Lubaba TV. Welcome to Fanya Lubaba TV, and today is another good day that we are here in our good session. And as we know, we make some different stories with different visitors or tourists who visit here in Tanzania uh, to know different things that. Like uh, what they like here, their challenges, some stuff like that. So today also I have another visitor here and he's my brother and we'll be here today making some stories and Karibu Sana. Ah, Sante Sana. Karibu Sante Sana. Sante Sana. Uh, so we make stories with him. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell but also tell your fellow who like this session to be aware anytime to get anything that we put here. First of all, brother, we would like you to introduce yourself and um, where are you from for the people to know you and stuff like that? I'm William from London. The last 10, 11 years, Tanzania has been like a, uh, like an illness to me. You know, I go home and I have to be in Tanzania. So here I am in Tanzania, the first time in Mwanza, and it's amazing, really. Ah, so you like Tanzania? Ha, I don't think like is the word. <laughs> me, I love this place. And even I... I don't know the reason, but I just love this. Ah, so you said you were here from 10 years back? I was, uh, the first time I came here was 2011. I was going and coming. Initially I came here just for, I think, a three months volunteering. Mm -hmm. 11 years later I still have in my blood Tanzania. So, so yeah. I would also like to know something. That how did you knew Tanzania for the first time? My I didn't know Tanzania too, apart from my grandmother. She came here nearly 20, 25 years ago. And she was quite old when she came, but she really loved the place. So now I think I came here to find the amazing place that she found. But I think I found even more amazing than what she found. Because 11 years later, if you're still here, I think you show I love the place. Ah, so you got inspiration from your grandmother? From my grandmother and also I was always seeing videos on, on the internet at home and on the news about how Africa is somehow a deprived continent and somehow I wanted to see to to broaden my knowledge so I can um, so I can really know what the life is about. Because sometimes when you live somehow an easy life you need to see how people are living to to learn something and maybe some give something back. You know? yeah. So, what was your first time? I mean, what was the first place to visit in Tanzania? The first day you came in Tanzania, what was the first day? I went to a place called Bahari Beach. Ah, Bahari Beach. And this was like a really well built up area, and somehow I felt like I wasn't enough. So. They used to tell us, don't go to this place, don't go to this place, it's very dangerous. So me, in my mind, the first thing when they say, don't go there, me, I take the border border and I go directly. There. When I arrived there, one guy he said to me, ah, brother, this place is not safe, don't come here. So I say, ah, why? I say, but I'm safe. He showed me around and from this day, I just fell in love with the whole country. He was teaching me many things, some basic Swahili, he was showing me all of the areas and I don't know every day that I was here I was just get a passion almost like it's it's my home so, ah, so now you are in Tanzania almost 10 years yeah I mean go come go come and how many places have you visited so far for a long time it was just Dar es Salaam and Zanzibar but this time that I've come I've kind of traveled a lot more than I've ever traveled so we we we've done now we've done Mbeya We've done Zanzibar, we've done Pemba, we've done uh, Mwanza. And to be honest, I'm Mwanza since I've been in Mwanza, I just thought I can just stay in Mwanza. Because somehow it's Tanzania, but the amazing side of Tanzania. Uh, so far, I would like to know your best place so far to now. In the whole of Tanzania? In all of Tanzania. Ah, uh, <laughs> this one is really hard. I think. In terms of the views that I've seen, they have to be here in Mwanza. I think in terms of the culture I was taught, it have to be maybe the first place that I ever went. Because for a long time I was just living in the village, so the village became somehow like my community. So 
I think if I came to Mwanza first, for sure it's 100% to Mwanza. But I, I have so many friends everywhere, so my time I have to go by. Ah, so now you manage to have a lot of friends from different parts. I have a lot of I have a lot of friends in Tanzania, and they are good friends. You know, even at home, when I'm in England, we're speaking to each other. We're we're communicating. We're sharing ideas, and it's really good. It's really good. What do you like about Tanzania people? I like Tanzanian people because they know the struggle. They know. There's not many things that you can experience in your life that they already didn't experience. So when you are feeling sad, they really they know how to they know how to make you happy again. Um, also, with Tanzanian people, I see that a lot of them haven't been given the chance by the country like a lot of us English get. But whatever chance they get, they never need to miss this chance because they know that one chance come good time and. If they're gonna miss this chance, maybe they're gonna live the same life. But when they, when you see someone with a direction, ah, they have many places they can go. So far. And what do you like about Tanzania itself? <laughs> I like the food. I think your your alcohol is also very nice. But the food is the food and the people. I mean, the food, the people, the views. Where I come from is just a concrete jungle, so you don't see nature anymore. But when I see this nature, really I feel like I'm so privileged. Really. And have you ever visited another African country except yeah. East Tanzania? I've been to Malawi. Mm. Uh, Malawi somehow is like Tanzania. The people are so cool, so calm. Malawi was also very beautiful in the agriculture side, but also many people they speak English, so. It was easy for me to make that direct connection, you know, and also Ghana. Uh, how many dishes have you tried so far? Uh, the names, maybe I find it hard, but Ugali, Ugali with many different things. Sometimes, depending on the on the life, sometimes you're gonna eat Ugali with Kasemvu, mm. Ugali with Matambeli, Ugali with something, or sometimes we're gonna eat Ugali with fish, with meat, um, rice. I like pilau. Um, also, the other day you make something with the fish mm. and the potatoes mm. in the soup. Uh, this was one of the most amazing thing I ever eat. I don't know, I don't know what you call it. Yeah. I even I don't know the name. It's, it's somehow fresh. from the head. Eh? Somehow we just do it and it's common. Uh, the mixture of viazi. If there's anybody who knows this name, you can tell me. The mix of viazi with, with I mean the potatoes and the fish itself. But somehow it's like the use of food. That maybe you just have there, right? You yes. can make from anything. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Uh, so you, you really like it? I like Tanzanian food. Also chapati, but chapati, I'm going to become too bong. So uh. I have to go kidogo, kidogo. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. And so far, you said you are a long time here in Tanzania. Yeah. Do you know Swahili? I know thousands of words in Swahili, but uh, my brain doesn't allow me to make the sentence. But my confidence sometimes come. If I feel confident, ah, my Swahili can be also very Can you good. speak anything about Swahili? For this moment, because of the uh, nature of the video, uh, it's very hard uh, because the Swahili <laughs> I'm using, somehow it may be not respectful. Uh, yes. So so maybe next time for Actually, a later video. Okay, so you like, you like Swahili? I like. For example, if you meet like a really beautiful woman, mm. then I can speak Swahili uh, because my comfort in this coming. I'm on both feet, I'm Mary Nependeza, but fast, you know. <laughs> I really like that. And do you like music? Music? Mm. I love music. Uh, have you get a chance to listen to Tanzanian music? Yeah, I mean, um, from the first time I've been coming, I've been a very big fan of Bongo Flavor. Mm. I was a big fan of Dali Sykes, mm. Sumali, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Steve R&B, mm -hmm. yeah. um, and there was uh, there was another song, but it's going like Hakunaga, Zawa uh, Sumali, Langube. Uh, uh -huh. This, I just like the, sometimes without even understanding the melody of the, mm. eh, understanding the words, you can feel the rhythm and you can feel the beat and you, and it make you somehow positive vibe. So even when I'm at home, mm. people, they can hear me in the garden playing Tanzanian music. What and maybe they're thinking, what is he listening to? But, but they don't understand. Right. They don't understand, but they know that it's good music. And what's your favorite music? Which is the song? My favorite music is reggae music. So, 
I would say in Africa for the, for that side, I'm a big fan of Lucky Dube, mm -hmm. uh, Burning Spear, mm -hmm. but also Jose Chameleon. Ah, you like to Jose, Jose Chameleon, even at home, people recognize Jose Chameleon. We we appreciate him. Okay. And do you like football? I like local football. I like when people are just in the park or the beach and they are enjoying, but I hate the business of food. Ah, so you don't know any kind of football? I, all I know is Lete Mozungu, Lete Mozungu from Simba, uh. the, the player he was coming from Serbia, I believe. Yes, maybe, I'm not so sure, maybe it's Serbia. You can help me. He's from Serbia. He's Serbia, right? He's from Serbia. Um, I remember this because sometimes when I walk around, mm -hmm. people are chanting "Lete Mozungu, Lete Mozungu," and I was really interested. Why? No what way. is this? And apparently, it's about the player he came and he's big champion, and I think he left from Simba. Mm, yes. And yes. they were saying "Lete Mozungu" to uh, bring back Mozungu. Yeah, I think something like that. Uh, so this, I know this only, but I prefer younger because the first time when I came here, we went to a couple of games of younger. And I like the atmosphere, you know, the ah, football so stadium in Africa is different to the football stadium at all. Ah, sometimes you like younger. You can for, yeah, it's not, I like the, I like younger, but I like the atmosphere of the football. Of the like, football. you go to the stadium and people, it's somehow crazy because mm -hmm. people are selling, they are trying to sell you chips my eye in the football game, or they try to sell this, it's somehow like a, it's a really cool experience. You have been in Tanzania for so long, uh, what was your best moment? And what was your worst moment? My my best moment is hard to identify which, but my best moment when I'm living in the let's say in the forest, really appreciating nature, like deep in the village, living with the local people, and the trips that I've done, you know, spending 16 hours on a boat from Bagamoyo to Zanzibar in the middle of the night with the waves coming in your face and you're sitting on a bag of potatoes. <laughs> ah, somehow it was my best and my worst moment in one day, you know? Mm, it was yes, so yes. fun, but it was so uncomfortable. When you go to the toilet, everyone is looking, ah, Mozungu is going for the toilet. <laughs> somehow, but sometimes what I find hard here is that um, because I can't speak 100% good Swahili, sometimes I think some things are coming to misunderstanding. And I really want to fight for this, like with my friends, that they learn English and I learn Swahili because I think that when I know how to speak Swahili, really I can express myself. So sometimes I feel shame because I can't speak Swahili because when people say, ah, you've been here 11 years, you can't speak Swahili. You, you've never been to England, but you know how to speak English. And sometimes I feel pain for this, but, but it's getting easier because this time I'm going to go home and I'm, you, you're going to see me next time, pole, pole. like a different person. And what is the biggest challenge do you face daily in Tanzania? The, one of the biggest challenges that I face daily is that I think the, the understanding is that maybe because I'm coming from Europe that, I, that I'm very rich or I'm coming from good life and I appreciate that the life that I came from is maybe a lot easier and a lot better than some but still what I came to realize, no matter your life and no matter your status, challenges come. And I think even some of my Tanzanian friends that at one point they were maybe starting from the bottom and now they're at the top, they find that the more money that they make, the more challenges are coming. So I find this challenging, but actually this is just a small, this is just a small disturbance because when you actually speak to people, they look for your heart in this country. So. Deep down, you don't care if someone is white, Chinese, black. If they are good, you have time for them. And this is what I really appreciate here. But it's it's a challenge, but I think being anywhere that is not your mother country or it's not um, where, you, where you grew up or where you know 100%, it's a challenge, but we have to fight this challenge. Life shouldn't be easy, you know? Uh, thank you. For your time, for sure. Well, thank you for your time. We enjoyed. We did make a lot of story, and for the time that we were here, I really, really like. And we're gonna continue. Uh, we're, we're gonna continue. By concluding, you can say anything that you would like people to know. Anything that you wish. Anyone that hasn't been to Tanzania, you need to ask yourself why you didn't come to Tanzania. Um, maybe the next flight that you're gonna book to Spain or wherever, just come to Tanzania because it's really an addictive country and. And the people that don't understand Tanzania, 
they need to open their minds. So get yourself to Tanzania. Thank you for your time, no, brother. Thank you, bro. <laughs> thank you, bro. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell in order to get the good stories like this. And next time we'll have another good session, which I think you will like it more. Thank you. Asante sana. Asante sana.